this program which is masters of software engineering it's a green list program it means that it makes you eligible to apply residency under the green in total if you have funds approximately 30 lakhs you are good to go Hi, hello everyone. This is Chakit from VAC Global Education. In this video, we are going to discuss about Category 1 College, which is UB, which is providing Masters of Software Engineering course, which is a 180 credit points, which will complete within a year. It's a 180 credit points means it also have a project within the course, which will help you get the industry experience. And that will make sure that you are ready to get into the job market. In order to find the jobs in the software engineering industry which is also a green list program this will help you get your pr very easily to help get the jobs in the in this sector then you want to know which all jobs are available in this sector all you need to do is get on to trade me trademe.co.nz it's a classified website in new zealand which gives you an idea about what kind of jobs which are available there which can help you land a job which can give you the PR later on. So now we are going to discuss about this course in detail. So watch this video till the end so that you get the complete information. I'm going to talk about the fees, eligibility requirement, the fund requirement. I'm going to talk about the category, which I've already told you that it's a category one college that ensures that the quality of education is going to be supremely high. Also, we are going to cover how many semesters are there, what is the fees and how much is the funding which is required in order to get the visa. So watch this video till the end. Also, if you like this video and you want future update about New Zealand study visa, then you can subscribe to this channel. And if you want to apply with us, there is a link given in the description. Click that link, get in touch with us and we'll be more than happy to help you with the entire process. So let's start with this video. So this program, which is Masters of Software Engineering, it's a green list program. It means that it makes you eligible to apply for your resi residency under the green list. Now this program has four specializations. One is your data analytic, cloud security, blockchain and quantum computing. These are four specialization. If you have jobs in any of these fields, you will be eligible to apply for your PR later on once you complete the course. Generally, level nine course give you five points towards your PR. You would just need one points. And since the course is in green list, as soon as you will find a job, in either of these category mentioned on your screen that would make you eligible for the PR, be it in the cloud computing, software development, software testing, cloud engineer, data infrastructure, architecture, any of these fields will make you eligible for the PR. Now let's talk about the fee part. The fee for this particular program is 36,000 New Zealand dollars. The best part is that this college also offer you 25% scholarship. If your percentage is above 60%, you have some work experience, then you can get this whole 25% of scholarship. This will enable you to reduce your fees significantly. So if you will minus 25% from 36,000, the tentative fees would only be 27,000 New Zealand dollars which is very very affordable compared to the high fees what you pay at the university this will help you save a lot of money since this course is only for one year so you would need to show the funds for your living expenses for only one year which is twenty thousand new zealand dollars so 27 plus your twenty thousand of living expenses so that makes 47. Apart from that, you would have resource fees, which is $2,000. Then medical and travel insurance, which is, which is $1,013. And then you have enrollment fees, which is $400. And then you have NZ government levy fees, which is $320. So in total, if you will calculate the whole cost, it will be 39,733. Also 25% minus scholarship. So the tentative fees, it will come as 30,000. $733. That's all you need to pay. That is approximately between 15 to 16 lakhs. This is the most affordable Masters of Software Engineering course in the whole New Zealand, which is provided by a Category 1 college. One year of living expenses, which would be 20,000. So 31, I'm taking the approximate value. 31 plus 20,000 of living expenses, that makes 51. Plus additional, if you will show another, another $4,000, you'll be good to go so in total if you have funds approximately 30 lakhs you are good to go with this course this course will also make you eligible to take your spouse along with you from 
since it's a level nine course that will make you eligible to take your spouse along if you have kids they can also join you guys on the student visa and their education will be free for the entire duration till the time you guys will hold the visa and once you get the pr they can study even at the university level for free of course so that's the power of this course this course will make you eligible not just for the visa but also for PR and then your kids can also study there for the longer period of time. All this information is publicly available on New Zealand website. So I have also taken this information from New Zealand immigration website as well as from the college website. So nothing is what I am giving you from my end. This whole information is available publicly. You can cross check. We directly represent this college. So this college has helped us get a lot of visas and a lot of admission for a lot of students. So I can vouch for this uh, program as well as for the college without any doubt. Now the intake, These, this college for 2025 intake, there are three intakes, 7th of April, 26th of July and 17th of November. Since this college has stopped giving the automatic scholarship of 25%, they would ask you to write the scholarship statement of purpose for which we are going to help you. We are going to guide you what all points you need to include in the application, how you are going to get the scholarship. We are going to guide you from the entire duration. All you need to make sure is that your funds are genuine and from the right source so that the immigration is satisfied with the funds. And once your funds are sorted, I am pretty sure that you are going to get the visa. The eligibility criteria to get the admission is that you need to have a degree in any of the IT field, even if you don't have a degree from IT field, but you have work experience from in IT, they also offer a bridging course, which you can do online, which is free of cost. Once you have that, have, you have got done that bridging course, you will be eligible to get the uh, scholarship as well as the admission. So that this process is that simple. So it's up to you. If you want a green list program and you are ready to study sincerely and want a program which is affordable, from a category one provider, then this is the course which you can definitely check out. It can help you shape up your future for good. If you need help with your admission, visa, SOP, interview, anything, we are here to help you. We are just one click away. There's a link given in the description. Click that link, get in touch with us. Our counselors will help you, guide you and handhold you till the time you get your visa. Even beyond, we will help you open your FTS account if at all there is a requirement raised by immigration that you need to transfer your living expenses fund we will help you do that as well so you would not have to worry about anything we will take care of each and everything in your process thank you for watching this video if you have liked this video then hit the like button share it with your friends and family and subscribe to bsc we shall see you in our next video till the time you guys take care of yourself Bye bye